All right, we're recording. Um, hello, everyone. I just wanted to test a new thing. Um, it's it's this is a stream video I was testing with Wave Video, and I wanted to check one of the products out and create a video on it. Um, so I have this review on my website for a plugin called WP Sheet Editor. Basically, it's a productivity plugin and it helps you make bulk edits for different type of post types, WooCommerce products faster and easier. Um, so let's have a look at it, what it does, and uh, I'll explain a little bit more in detail while showing you it on showing it to you on my screen. Okay, so let me switch to this scene. I'm using Wave Video live stream feature. That's why uh, if I'm making errors or if you see something funny, laggy, uh, bear in mind that's what might be causing it. So pff, it's a new scene, right? Cool. Okay, so showing my other desktop now, which is the homepage of Sheet Editor. So basically, um, who is this plugin for? If you have a website that has a lot of content and needs a, needs bulk editing, uh, needs a lot of changes or needs to have a lot of data entered, data exported, um, something like a listing website, or if you are um, in heavily into content creation, you're a publisher and you have a lot of content that needs to have its um, title tag or meta description edited in bulk to increase the click-through rate. Um, or if you are a WooCommerce product vendor and you want to make massive or bulk changes to all your WooCommerce products, then this is a great plugin for you. Again, the name is WP Sheet Editor. I've used it since a few months, might be even a year. I use it to um, do a few things because my website has some partial issues and uh, WP Sheet, Sheet Editor helps me go past through that issue, okay? Uh, I'll explain what I mean. Um, so this is our marketing with WP website. Uh, this is the back end, right? So um, over here, um, you will see a spreadsheet already open. But if you were to install a plugin, uh, sorry, install the plugin in the beginning, um, once you purchase it, you download it, and you upload it to a WordPress website, it'll ask you, hey, which post type do you want to show as a uh, spreadsheet because you can make edits in bulk. So you can select um, posts are basically WordPress posts. Pages are WordPress pages. Um, these are custom post types, right? Um, so I have the custom post type um, pro add-on, I believe. Uh, and that's why it allows me to edit custom post types. But um, I mean, when I'm, it's already installed. So the custom post type add-on is installed. I do have the full suite. I've not installed the other pro extensions because I do not have a need for it, okay? But um, I could make bulk edits to a few one. And if in the beginning when I installed, this is how I select what I want, right? So once once you select one of the uh, custom post types that you want to edit, you click save, it'll then open a sheet editor like this. Um, so in my case, I've already done it. That's why if I go to post and then sheet editor, you will see, you will see the sheet the sheets, um, like like a spreadsheet for all my posts. Um, again, the options are pretty cool and the options are varied. So what all can you do? You can manage your columns, you know? So right now I'm showing the title of the post, the featured image, the URL slug, post type, what type is it? Um, the excerpt, um, the content, and then SEO press title and description, right? So there's nothing on title and description. Um, because I'm getting this value dynamically, but um, this just shows you what columns I've selected. If I want to change it, I can click on column manager and then see what other options I have available. So for blog posts, I have, I could add the WP editor itself over there. So I could make edits on the specific post from WP sheet editor itself. Let me add it and let me actually move it over right after content okay and then there is more options like date modified date author uh, categories if i want to make change in those aspects there's a bunch of other things and these are all the meta fields that are created by your plugins right so the plugins add additional features and they also sometimes add meta field custom fields uh, for your post type so it might be pages posts, whatever specific post type you have, custom posts, and these meta fields can be selected or not selected, right? So um, I selected the ones that I want to edit in bulk, and that's what it shows. So once I've selected it, I just apply settings, and then 
it says need to reload the page. Okay, no problem. I'll reload the page. Um, and let's see what we have. We should have a new um, column called content, right? Or WP editor. There you go. So that's the one WP editor. Uh, now, here's the cool thing. If you were to edit content, usually you have to go to, uh, let's say, the traditional method, right? The traditional method for post is I go to all posts, uh, check out all my posts, and then I click on one of them, right? And then I edit it, right? So um, that was three, four clicks. Um, it takes some time to load, and then and then I can edit it and make changes and then save it, right? So it's, it's taking some time to load because I'm using a lot of bandwidth with the, the streaming software as well. But you, you see how process full, I mean, it takes a lot of processes, right? However, with Sheet Editor, you can just go to your um, WP Editor. If you click here, it'll just go to that post editor immediately, right? Or you click on content you click on this and it actually loads your post editor as well, right? So give it some seconds. Um, so that earlier click was loading the content editor. Sorry, there's bandwidth being taken uh, by the streaming software, that's why. Um, okay, so did, let me close out of that. Let me close out of this. Um, yeah, it's frozen now. There you go. But yeah, I mean, it loads the whole content editor here for you and you can make changes and publish it if you want and you click save changes, it'll do it, right? So I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna make edit and that's a big post. So bigger the post, it takes more resources, right? But if it was smaller post, your product pages or whatever, you could do that easily. Another thing I've seen a lot of people use uh, WP Sheet Editor is to add, um, title and description in bulk to change the, uh, to optimize the content for SEO as in, so let's say I went to Google and search among WP, I want to find content related to oh, SEO press. Let's say that's the SEO plugin I use. Um, so group, it's come, come, it comes up with the SEO plugin review, right? SEO press freemium WordPress plugin and easy to understand. So whatever we have over here, if we want to change this so that I can incite people to increase the click to rate, like uh, provide interesting headline, sideline, whatever, I could do that in bulk as well by just going here and editing the title and description in bulk. Uh, mind you, as I said earlier, what I've been doing is I don't manually put it. I actually get the post title, right? So the, the post title, which is this, and I get the excerpt automatically that's what i use seo press to do it but if i want to set manually i could do that easily you know so that's one of the cool features of this plugin um cool so i'll show you another example i have um let's see i have a shoe come on computer there you go so i have another post type called plugins right so these are let's say reviews um and that's the one that was showing up over here. That's your press plugin review. If I go here, and now let's say I want to change a custom thing over here, as in my affiliate links were different, or the website URL were different, or something else was different, and I want to change it in bulk, I could go over here and do that easily and click save. So that would make bulk changes easily instead of me going to that plugin every time, right? So that's where the efficiency and business efficiency part of the thing comes in. Um, again, absolutely love this plugin. Very, very nice, very, very helpful. Um, so they have quite a few model modules. Um, so if you go to Sheet Editor, they have a, a deal going on right now as well. There is a 40% off and a 50% off from what I understood. Uh, yeah, the best deal all access plan. So uh, they have WooCommerce products, spreadsheets, post type pages, custom post type. This is the one I'm using right now post type pages, custom post type, because I have quite a few different custom post type. As you can see, um, uh, so I have posts, I have apps is a custom post type, themes is a custom post type, plugins is a custom post type, right? So I have three of these. 
Um, so imagine if you're a real estate website or something, you're a listing website and you have very different type of custom post types, um, you could bulk edit all of them e easily, right? So that's the one I use. But if you're a WooCommerce e-commerce website, you could do you could use the WooCommerce product spreadsheet and do bulk edit for this one easily. Um, there's one for categories, taxonomies, right? So it's very similar. And also for media library, you can bulk edit those. Um, that's possible. The primary reason I use this for my case is, of course, I could add new plugins, uh, detail in my case, right? Like, cause I'm reviewing plugins and I could put reviews, but I'm using jet engine to create my custom post types. And it has an issue. Um, what I mean is if I were to go to, let's say one of the plugins I have, go to the plugins, let me close these so that my bandwidth usage is okay. So let's look at WP social Ninja. Uh, I'll also load the sheet here now. Okay. Uh, this is what I mean. So I'm using jet engine and for some reason, my, my WordPress setup or, uh, the website, there's something going on and it disables a few options by default in the plugin edit. I mean, in the content editor. So normally over here, you would see quite a few options such as featured image, or there might be other options. And there is some sort of conflict going on with my website that prevents um, this meta, this fields to show up over here. And I'm not a coder and I don't know how to troubleshoot it properly. And I've not reached out to the support team to fix it, but I have a temporary workaround and that temporary workaround was I open it in sheet editor. Right. And here I'm able to upload featured images. So all the fields are visible that way. Right. So that's, that's my workaround for it. And that's why I had to use it primarily, but also to edit bulk, edit in bulk. But you can see it's very straightforward. Right. So that's how I use it primarily. And it's not a problem only for one post type, but I have this problem for pretty much all the post types. So all of my post types do not show featured image when jet engine is activated. Uh, Jet Engine is the plugin I use to create all of this uh, post types, right? So apps, uh, themes, and plugins that makes uh, this other feature and functionality added, but it comes with a cost in this case, and the cost is plugin conflicts preventing me from editing the feature image, right? So like if you go to plugins and you look over here, um, all of this is possible because of Jet Engine because it's creating uh, post type called plugins and you can see marketing with wp.com slash plugins the same thing with apps so jet engine allows me to create a post type called apps this is all the recommended tools i have and all of them have a review for each of them right so if i were to look about learn more about wave video on my reviews so i have this specific content called wave video and um, it has content on how i use it and this is the tool i'm using to live stream right now so this this they have this new feature called uh, live streaming and I'm testing it out and that's the video I'm going to put it on my channel the one you're looking at right now um, so quite a few tools working together um, but all of these right so dynamically adding table of content dynamically adding prices I'm using jet engine to create the post type and then there is uh, stackable uh, there is um, hook feature from Bloxy theme that's being used to add all of these visual elements on the website, okay? And um, like these these content blocks where the ads are showing or um, shows the table of content and stuff like that, you know? So it's all the themes and the plugin interacting. Um, but again, back to the point of the sheet editor, but I use it to edit my post types and custom post types mostly because I showed you the problem, right? The feature image problem. But if you are importing tons of data, let's say you're a listing website, you have different businesses or you're a real estate website, you have different uh, property listing and stuff and you want to export, import in bulk, this is your plugin to go to, you know. Uh, it's It works really well. You can set up the time in, time interval in terms of if, if your website is slow and lagging, you can say, okay, make edits on every five seconds or six seconds and stuff. There's a lot of feature and functionality in terms of using formulas um, to make changes to your fields as well, you know, um, but they've got a really nice, um, help section over here that talks about different things. So how to import, how to export, managing your columns, uh, check it out again, very cool. Nifty little plugin, um, simple to use and very nice user interface, highly recommended. And I think however much it costs, I think it helps you save time 
in that aspect, right? Like even even it even has a dashboard um, log that says, hey, how many posts were modified and how many clicks were avoided and how much time it saved, um, you know, like in general. So check it out. It's pretty cool. Again, they've got a special deal going on. Um, if you get the all-in-one bundle, it's I guess two hundred ninety-nine, uh, which is forty percent off. And then if there is there is a individual plugin, there is thirty uh, percent off, right? So uh, I got it. Uh, I got it around Black Friday, two thousand twenty or twenty-one, and it was uh, pretty much fifty dollars cheaper than now. So I got it for two hundred fifty, but it's worth every bit of it. Um, again, that's for unlimited site. Just a heads up, it uses Freemius. Um, to track your installation and uh, managing the licenses. Uh, I have no issues with it, but uh, just letting you know. Cool. So that's the overall walkthrough using wave.video live stream, uh, showing WP Sheet Editor on a website uh, built with WordPress, with Jet Engine. Um, what else we have? The Bloxy theme, right? This is all made in Bloxy. And then with stackable and cadence block uh, block building plugins, okay? But yeah, that's, that's what we have for today then. Have a good one. And if you have any questions, concerns, uh, leave it in the comment and if I can check it, I'll get back to you. Thank you.